Hey guys, um, that they did do a quick video about programming languages that they know. Um, in one of my crop videos, I mentioned a new nine computer languages, and I've still got the comments like, wow, how is that possible? And that so I'll take a second or two to explain how I know nine computer languages. Well, I'll say I'm a uh, expert level on a few and okay on most of the rest. So to begin with, every web page has basic HTML code. So, there's basically my foundation, HTML. There's another language that I'm familiar with called, that I also, is, that I primarily, primarily use for website, which is called XHTML, which is your basic HTML. Email, but little fancier for the for the everyday users. It's the same so for syntax um, adjustments, but nothing out of this world. Then there's a language called CSS, cascading style sheet which basically make your page pretty back in the 90s. This was done in raw HTML and from about 1998-99 CSS came out and just flew off the chart. So I've been using so CSS would probably be my top mastery level for language. So now we have our basic page and make it present. Then instead of typing like a chart, you know, say perfect words or something, you can write a little function that will print off these perfect words. Uh, for I choose the language of PHP, um, others use ASP or basic A ASP, so we're up to four languages. Um, so PHP basically allows you to do loops, so, um, so in that basis you can draw in, you know, grab information and port it or print it to your site. Um, so right there, there are two languages. Um, one called SQL, Standard Query Language, with all databases as a big chart or a big table or a big Excel sheet. And you use SQL says, I want this row and this column information printed on my website and do whatever you do. Then you use HP to do whatever and then add CSS to make it pretty. So there's SQL, then there's Ma my SQL or my SQL which if you need like your date formatted a certain way so I could use my SQL which that's a very very uh, elementary way to use it but you can see what can go on so there's HTML, XHTML, CSS, PHP, SQL, MySQL. Then you have your, when you click on the button, you say, and 
that pops up in the Happy New Year, for example, um, that primary, primarily made in JavaScript, and so JavaScript you can do, and sort of like PHP, but not quite, but you can do pop-ups, various calculations, highlighting, blah, blah, blah. Then there's Java, uh, which is kind of the parent more of a structural programming language than JavaScript. Um, they share some of the tools, but you can write low-level or decent desktop applications as well as web applications such as a, you know, file upload, browse window or something like that. So there's two more or at eight and finally there's XML which is can you use it raw and you can but uh, that's various stuff um those of you who use RSS feed uh, see uh, the way a feed is generated to generate through both XML and the use of either PHP or another language called ASP and so that those are the like excuse me languages I'm I come with when I say I know nine computer languages. Um Java and JavaScript are my work, you know, I don't have that top level of knowledge about it, but it's mainly because I don't use it, um, and such. I'm also going to start learning ASP.NET with a C Sharp, um, foundation uh, when you use ASP with the .NET framework you can either use VP virtual basic or C sharp um, I, all my friends tell me um, to go with the C sharp background so that's what I'm working, going to try to learn, try to fit it in. Um, so, yeah, that's how nine languages are possible. They just add on and work together. Um, PHP is one of my better languages. Do I know every little detail about it? No, I don't. Um, the reason is there's 1500 built-in functions to the language and of course you can write your own function so basically you can have hundreds of thousands of functions in PHP same with ASP Java and JavaScript so yeah thanks